Wildcard back. Two videos ago, I made this little collet here so I can attach my dial gauge to that 43 millimeter spanner for the spindle card here, link in the description. And in the previous video with <laughs> the dial gauge attached here, I aligned my Z axis as perpendicular to the table as I can. Card here, link in the description. Now I need a little shaft here that I can attach to the spindle itself and then to my dial gauge so I can rotate the dial gauge on the table around the axis of the spindle to see if my spindle is really trimmed properly in regards to my table. Enjoy. That shaft doesn't need to be too long. I mean, if I'm looking here, 10 centimeters uh, lines up with my collet here. So it should stand, uh, yeah, stick out of the collet, maybe, I don't know, six centimeters, six, seven centimeters. It's not really critical. Uh, let's make it seven centimeters. The diameter of that shaft should be the same diameter as the shaft here on my magnetic base for the dial gauge because, yeah, that clamp will <coughs> go into the spindle and it normally goes around that shaft. And that would be, yeah let's say 11.8 is that correct 11.8 yeah it's 11.85 no let's say 11.8 the other end of that shaft has to go of course into a collet a six millimeter collet in that case and it should be at least yeah let's say 22 milli millimeters long um yeah let's make that 25 or oh, let's uh, measure with 22 millimeters and keep in mind that we might make it a little bit longer so the whole thing will be about -ish, a seven centimeters plus a minimum of 22 millimeters long so let's say total length of 95 millimeters on the one side diameter 11.8 millimeters and on the other side here for a short stop six millimeter diameter let's add 25 millimeters here of material so i can hold on the thing and with a chuck of my lathe so i need a piece of 120 millimeter round steel and indeed i have here some cold drawn 30 millimeter diameter round steel uh, that was featured in a previous mailbag card here link in the description and uh, we we'll start off by cutting off a 120 millimeter length of it so let's cut that piece of steel off and i might have made the marker here at 125 millimeters, just to be on the safe side. Now my workpiece is in the lathe and I dialed it in to about plus minus one hundredths. Oh, not optimal, but good enough. I mean, this is 30 millimeters, so we will take <laughs> over one millimeter down here. As always, let's first clean up the face and I will be using some cutting fluid.
I don't know if you are able to hear it, but there was quite some chatter when I did <laughs> that face here. And yeah, you, you, you can actually see it. You can actually see it. So yeah, that's the first time I'm doing steel on that little lathe. And yeah, uh, we're getting to its limitations, I guess. Next, we drill a tiny little center hole here. Just, yeah, because I had that much chatter, I am <laughs> do not trust <laughs> really turning down that thing over the whole length without any support at the other end. Okay, I have the live center in now and yeah, <clears throat> I hope I don't get any chatter when I move down here. Uh, we are at 30 millimeters approximately and we have to go down to 11.8. So I will take some very small cuts. <laughs> We're down to 11.8 something. Uh, maybe you can hear it, but the finish is... quite rough. So I will polish that up in the end with some steel wool or something. But now we have to uh, cut here our little <coughs> six millimeter stub for a length of 25 millimeters or something. And uh, there's no way I can do that with that tool. Because if I go in here <laughs> three more millimeters, I will run into my life center. So I'll have to change this whole setup. Uh, give me a second. I changed the tool. I don't like that tool, but uh, well, <clears throat> at least uh, in that lathe, it doesn't work too well, but it has to do for the last 25 millimeters, which I also marked out here. Let's do that. <music> We're down to 6.01 or 6.02 and also, yeah, it's a rough finish here. So I will polish the whole thing now with some steel wool and uh, then we can part it off, hopefully. And I, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that shoulder here is actually an accident. I really don't care about it, so I let it be. I'm still not happy with the finish, so I'm using some 180 grit sandpaper here. Let's see what that can do. I'm now here at the little stop at 6.00 or 5.99. It's, it's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Okay, let's do the rest here. Okay, this won't win any beauty contest, but... Yeah, it's, it's not perfect, but it's much better. Uh, hopefully it's good enough. We will see. 
Let's part that thing off now and I really don't like that parting tool anyway. So <clears throat> yeah, if it dies, it dies. Okay, you can see what happened here. <clears throat> we just, yeah. Got that thing out of access. Uh, it doesn't matter. I get it out of the machine and I'll do the rest with the saw and then we clean up that face here. Anyway, um, obviously, and the stopping, the stopping was just the tool here interfering with the piece, not uh, with my chuck. Okay, I have enough clearance there. But anyway, uh, that's a little bit too much for the machine and that really wide parting tool. Yeah. And here is the result. So in length, we did we hit our seven centimeters? Yeah, basically seven centimeters, spot on maybe. Yeah, no, no, seven centimeters. So half into the shoulder, uh, which was not planned at all. And the front I set uh, at least 22 millimeters, a little bit more, and we are at, yeah, 22 millimeters, a little bit more. Perfect. The question is, <laughs> does that stop here, and that's critical, kind of fit into my collet? Uh, which way around? This way around. And it should be a tight fit. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And is it long enough? So from that side. Yeah, I can put it in and it's sticking out a little bit. That's exactly what I wanted. What about the other side? Now that should fit in here and it's a little bit of loosey-goosey fit but uh, the original is also a little bit loosey-goosey but as soon as we clamp down here this should be yeah perfect. Okay <laughs> that can go into my little milling machine for tramming the spindle. Great! That's it for today. I'm overall quite happy with the outcome. Uh, however, <clears throat> I did note of course that <laughs> mild steel is a little bit hard uh, for at least such a big part. A little bit harsh for my little lathe here. Uh, but in the end it uh, got it done. However, I do have to admit that this took quite a toll on my tools. Okay, so the parting tool, I told you I hate it, is uh, completely uh, broken. Has to be yeah, regrounded and uh, the other tool which is still in the machine uh, shows also some signs of wear and tear. So what will we do next time? I'll give you a hint. Till then, bye.